Morning, everyone. Good morning. How we doing? Happy Thursday. Oh, hooked up to the wrong Bluetooth there. <laughs> happy, happy Thursday. And so we're going to get started in just one moment. Um, and I'll introduce myself more formally in a second. Um, our strength training up on the docket, as you might have noticed, um, those of you who've been with me for the past couple of weeks, I'm not in my normal location. I am traveling um, for, to celebrate some family. Um, so I was a little inspired by that. And we're going to do a no equipment, full body weight workout, um, because it's really, it, and have a great workout, because it really is possible to do so. Um, and I know that for myself and, and a lot of people um, in the past used to be um, I used to be worried that when I was on the road, I wouldn't have movement. And while I don't think exercise needs to take over your vacation, sometimes it can be nice to move your body while you're away. So today we're going to do no equipment workout. Um, with that said, I always like to say this is your practice, this is your time on the map. So if you want to add weights, if you want to uh, change anything up, please, please, please feel free to. You can make it easier, harder, or change it however you need to. I'm here to guide you. Um, and I want it to feel good in your body. I'm going to read a quick waiver, and then I'm going to pop back onto the mat. So today, you just need a mat. And you, I really, you would think I'd have this memorized. <laughs> okay, so by continuing the video, you hereby voluntarily give consent to engage in a fitness class. You understand this class is voluntary, and you're in no way obligated to actively participate, but you may observe as an option. This does not in any way impact eligibility for health insurance coverage. Your results will be given in this class, and you're able to cease your position at any time. This class may involve the use of heart, lungs, blood vessels, and musculoskeletal systems. It's designed to increase the demands on these systems. You understand the class may include the use of free weights, exercise bands, and other stability balls. A stability balls and other portable exercise equipment. You understand that you're responsible for monitoring your condition throughout this class. Should any unusual symptoms occur, you will cease your position immediately. Unusual symptoms may include chest discomfort, nausea, difficulty breathing, and joint or muscle injury. In participating, you agree to assume all risks of this class. You further understand that all of those classes being sponsored by Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare Incorporated and or its affiliates known as Harvard Pilgrim. Harvard Pilgrim shall not at any time or to any extent whatsoever be liable or responsible or in any way accountable for any loss, injury, or damage to be suffered or sustained by any person at any time in connection with or as a result of this class. You hereby release Harvard Pilgrim, its affiliates, subsidiaries, divisions, directors, employees from any and all legal claims arising out of any or in connection with or in any way related to your participation in this class. Alrighty, any questions before we get this show on the road, my friends? I'm going to get some water. Okay. And I'm going to have my phone nearby just to keep time as I listen and watch at home. So I promise I'm not texting anyone. I'm just uh, making sure that I know where we are. Okay. So. Welcome. My name is Carrie McGinn. I am a physical therapist and yoga teacher in Berkshire County, Massachusetts. I have a company called Live Good, Feel Good, a physical therapy and wellness company. I love to chat all things movement, mindfulness, mother nature, and stress management. Like I said, today is going to be a full body weight workout, a do it anywhere workout. We are uh, we're going to get started on our back, so I'm going to scooch my uh, mat a little bit this way. And you're going to lay on your back. Take a moment to ground yourself here, whether you're just landing your day or uh, maybe you have had a bit of morning already. Take your hand to your rib cage or your lower belly. And just take a moment to feel your breath moving through you. Inhaling. 
and exhaling. Feel the solidness of the earth beneath you and the fluidness of the breath within you. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale. Exhale. One more full round of breath here. And the arms can come out wide. It's here. It's going to windshield wiper the knees side to side. Just allowing get some movement to enter your physical body. Moment by moment. Breath by breath. What is true? These always make me yawn first thing in the morning as I get my little back moving. Last three. Two. One, yeah, reach the arms overhead, right? Just going down the mat, big early morning stretch as we just woke up. And then exhale, hug the knees into your chest. Take a circle of the low back in one direction and then the other. Come on back through center, send the right leg long, hug the left knee in. Take the left arm out to the side and the left leg across the body for a try. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Back through center. Left twist, then we'll get into some strength. Left leg long, right knee in. Right arm out to the side, right leg across the body. Full inhale. Full exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath in. Come on back through center. Feet come to the earth for a moment. I want you to find, we're going to find this core engagement. So you're going to arch the low back, kind of create some space under here. And that is called the lumbar extension or an anterior pelvic tilt. And if you're tucking all the way under, kind of scoop the tailbone under, flatten the low back out. So that's called lumbar flexion or more of a posterior pelvic tilt. You're going to find right kind of in the middle of your there. So not totally arched, not totally tucked, middle. And then you're going to think about knitting the rib cage in a gentle pull of everything into center. You're not sucking your belly button to your spine. That's going to cause you to hold your breath, but just a little engagement in and up. From here, you're going to keep breathing. Most importantly, you're going to float one foot and then the other over. I like to keep my hands on my head. It just reminds me of my neck or I take them out to the side. We're going to start with just all train. Tap one heel down and lift. Tap the other and lift. Now the key back to that core engagement is that you're maintaining your neutral spine. You're not moving. You're not moving into arch or extension. You're not moving into tuck or flexion. You're staying really stable where you are and most almost most importantly or second most importantly you're breathing keep it breathing we've got two more on each side right left right Left, then you're coming back up, glue the heels together, glue the knees together. You're going to tap both heels down and lift. Tap both and lift. We've only got back, not moving. You don't have to go all the way. Three, two, one. Knees bend, feet flat, arms come down by your side. You're going to press through the hips, lift up and hold here. A little opening through the front line of the body, the core, the abs. Lift the right heel and lower. Right heel lift and lower. Left foot stays where it is. Hips stay where it is. Right left foot lift and lower. Lift and lower. Five. Four. Three. Two. One right heel down, left heel lift and lower. Just the left heel lift and lower. Lift and lower. 
Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Six, five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna lift both heels. Ten, nine. Keep the hips lifted. Eight. Squeeze the glutes. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, keep it lifted. You're going to pulse the hips down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Heels are lifted. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down. Windshield wiper the knees side to side. And then you're taking it all the way over to the right. Lay on your right side, bend the right knee, straighten out the left leg. I'm just making sure I'm going to start the lifting and lowering the left heel here. Lift and lower the left foot is flat. The left heel is slightly behind your right bum, or your right heel. Breathe. Breathe. We're moving slow. And control this whole time. Stay with the rhythm of your breath and your body. Five, four, three, two. You're going to keep it lifted one and hold. Dial the toes up, dial them down. Dial the toes up and down. And you notice I put a hand. Fingertips right here. Feel free to do so, but you're not leaning forward. Rotate, rotate. The only thing moving is this left leg. Rotate, 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 rotate. Let's go three, two, one. Hold neutral. Draw the knee in. Press it back. Draw it in. Press it back. Draw it in. Press it back. Let's go five. Four. Three. Two. One. Send it long. Take it behind you. Reach the left arm forward. Take a full breath in the left side body. Long. Hold on one second. I actually just trying to hold my headphone. You're going to lay on your stomach here. Elbows underneath shoulders. Sphinx pose. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. Please pop in the chat if you cannot. Come into space pose here. Elbows underneath the shoulders, heart pulls through. Take a full and a long breath out. Alrighty, tuck the toes, lift the knees, lift the hips, forearm plank. We're going to start here with just a hold for 20 seconds. Press back through the heels, press down through the elbows. Breathe. Four, three, two, one. Knees down, hips to heels, child pose just for a moment. And then you take it to lay on the left side. We're heading right over to the other side. Left knee is bent, right leg is straight, flex the foot right into lifts and lowers here. Lifts and lowers. Lift and lower. Breathe in and out. Beautiful. Good. Keep breathing. Keep moving. Got six, five, four, three. You're going to hold in two. One hold. Dial the right toes up so you're spiraling this whole leg and dialing the toes down. So the femur, the thigh bones rotating in and out. This is getting at the deep hip muscles here in the right hip. 
see it's a little bit harder uh, for me on this side. It's okay. We notice those differences side to side and we work with them. Rotate, 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 rotate. Let's go five, four, three, two, one. Hold me to chest. Send it long. Knee to chest. Send it long. Knee to chest. Send it long. Keep the foot flex. Knee to chest. Send it long. Knee to chest. <laughs> Send it long. Six. You've got this. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Beautiful. Roll onto your back here. Take a windshield wiper out of the knees, side to side. We're going to go through one more round of that. So come knees bent, feet flat, hips down. Pause for a moment. Knit the rib cage in, engage through the low belly here. Float one heel and then the other. Flex the feet. Connected to the core, to your breath, lower, one heel tap, and lift, lower tap, and lift, tap, and lift. You've got this, breathe. Another really important thing to notice here <clears throat> is that if you feel this too much in your low back or your hip flexors, you don't have to lower the heel all the way down. <clears throat> it's about being able to control the range of motion that you do have. Breathe. Nice work here. Five, four, three, two, one, glue heels and knees together, flex the feet, you got six, both legs lower, five, four, three, two, one, lower the feet down, knees point to the sky, hands by your hips, lift the hips up and hold for a moment. Finding this engagement through the back line, this opening through the front line. Hold. You're going to lift and lower the left heel and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, <clears throat> two, one, lift and lower the right heel, and lower, lift, and lower, lift, and lower. You've got this. Breathe. Keep the hips lifted. Five, <clears throat> four, three, two, one, both heels lift, and lower, lift, and lower. Lift and lower, lift and lower, almost there. Last five, four, breathe, three. You're going to keep the heels lifted, two, one, lift and hold. You're going to bring the hips down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, hold. Lower the hips down. Windshield wiper the knees side to side here. And roll over onto your right side. I'm going to do a little circle roll so that I can see you all. 
laying directly onto your right side here. You're gonna support your head, straighten the left leg out, lift and lower the left heel. We're moving this whole time. Small, small break, but otherwise we're just keeping this ship moving. Lift and lower. You can either lay the head down or support the head, whatever feels better for your neck this morning. Nice work. Keep breathing. Keep moving. Six, five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna left. Rotate and rotate. Whole leg rotates up. Whole leg rotates in. It's not a huge movement, but it's really great for the deep rotators of the hip joints. This top hip. Also really good for pelvic floor and core stability. Two. One. Neutral. Knee to chest. Send it long. Knee to chest. Send it long. Now the key here is as you come back, you're not rotating back. Hips are staying stacked. You're really connected to the core and side body here. Beautiful. Keep breathing. Keep moving. <clears throat> Got this. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Send it long. Rotate onto your stomach. Peel the heart through. We're going to do two different planks here today. Press into your elbows. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips forward on plank. Then you're going to use your toes to press you forward an inch and back an inch for 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the hips, pull the heart through, maybe even straighten the legs here as you wiggle it out. Straighten the arms, excuse me. We're going to come to one more plank variation. Come to things pose. Big round of breath in. Long round out. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, lift the knees here, tap the right knee and lift, left knee and lift, right, left, right, left, right, left, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, three. You've got this two, one, knees down, hips to heels. Stretch it back, child's pose for a beat. And you're laying on to your left side. Come on down, left hip down. Left knee bent, right leg straight. Let's get right into it. Lift, Oops, let's scooch a little bit away so I don't kick the, the window out. Lift and lower. Lift and lower, breathe. Yeah, keep it moving here. Keep it moving. Stop this. Notice those side-to-side -side differences, but stay with the body wherever you are. Five, four, three, two, one, hold. Rotate, 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 rotate. Let's go. Breathe. Five, four, three, two. One, hold, knee to chest, send it long, knee to chest, send it long. You've got this. We've just got a few more minutes of work here before we pull it down. 
Keep breathing. Nice. Five, four, three, two, one. Lay onto your stomach once again. Peel the heart through elbows down, sphinx pose. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, lift the knees, forearm plank. We've got a forward and back shift. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. You've got this. Five, four, three, two, <clears throat> one. Hips down, heart pulls through. Take a full breath in. Long breath out. One more plank here. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, lift the knees, and tap right knee. <clears throat> lift, left, lift, right, lift, left, lift, right, left. You've got this right. Left, right. We're going for time. Left, right, left, right. Left, almost there, breathe, breathe, four, three, two, one, both knees down, toes touch, knees wide, sit the hips back to the heels, child's pose, forehead comes to the mat, take a full breath in, fill up, long, slow, exhale. Let the hips soften, the low belly soften. Maybe there's even a wiggle of the hips side to side here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Walk your hands over to the right. Plant your right hand down. Put your left hand on top. Breathe into this left side body. Inhale. Exhale. Breath in. Exhale, come on back through center. Take it over to the left, right palm stacks on top of left. Inhale. Exhale. Breath in. Breath out. One more inhale. Back through center. Exhale. Press into your palms. Pull yourself forward. Tabletop. On your inhale, lift your heart, lift your belly. Say, lift your tailbone, drop your belly. On your exhale, press the ground away and around. Inhale, lift your heart, lift your tailbone, drop the belly. Exhale, press the ground away and around. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the tailbone, drop the belly. Exhale, round. Two more, arch, and round. Press into the left hand, reach the right arm up, thread the needle, right arm underneath, left armpit, right shoulder, right cheek down, maybe left arm reaches long. Left hand to the mat. Right arm to the sky, peel it open. Right hand comes back down. Left arm peels up. Thread it under. Left arm underneath, right, left shoulder, left cheek down. Right arm can reach. Right hand to the mat. Left arm back up, both hands back. Come to seated here. You're gonna sit up nice and tall, bring the soles of your feet to touch, knees out wide, take an inhale, exhale, hinge forward, a nice long side.
come on up to the seated, cross your ankles or sit up however you'd like. Take a moment to let your bum root into the ground, your hands land on your knees. Notice your body, your breath, your whole being. Together, we'll take one more big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Like I said, my name is Carrie McGinn, owner of Live Good, Feel Good. You can learn more about me at carriemcginn.com. If you have any questions before we head out, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you all next week. Bye, everyone. Have a great day. Bye. Happy Thursday.